Action. That way you can remember. <laughs> all right, go ahead. You all right. Rolling. All right. So this is your intakes. You have skimmer one, two, and three. Those are the skimmers that are around the pool that we talked about earlier. The perimeter of the pool. So these are your intakes. This is the main drain that's down at the uh, front end that you saw earlier. And this is the spa drain that's right over there. So this is all your intake that's coming in. And right now, we're sucking from the skimmers and the drain coming in, goes through the leaf trap. Then it's got a, a secondary strainer pot basket. And you got your pump and you got the motor right back here. Water comes up, goes into the filter. This is a cartridge filter. Or you can bypass it by turning this valve and it will just bypass the water out the pool. Then from there, when it comes out of the filter, it's gonna come straight in to the heater, goes through the heater, comes out of the heater, and it has a choice. Where do we wanna go? So right now it wants to go to the floor system and the returns, or it would go to the spa only. So right now it's going here, and from there we're not going to our returns, we're going to the floor system, the little heads that pop up on the floor. So uh, if you turn, hit the button with your phone, it would switch it back or forth. Some of the water is sent down this way about maybe 20%. So check valve goes through, it can't come back up this way. Check valve stops it and sends a little bit of water to the line heads and the bubblers. And of course, if you turn on the main pump, because this was in spa mode, in other words, when this valve turns here, this valve is gonna turn all the way, opposite way, close all of these off, suck from the spa only, Turn this off, close all of this side off, and return to the spa. So we're sucking and return to the spa, therefore you're only heating that body of water right there that's on the spa. Then from there, you would turn this pump on, and it would suck from the pool and send the water through this way. The check valve lets it go this way. This check valve stops it from going back that way. And that way you can work your line heads and your bubblers while you're in spa mode. But it's more energy efficient to use one pump, which can work everything at once. So now you can work your bubblers, your fountain, your overflow. When you're in pool mode, when you go to spa mode, you have to turn your other pump on so you can work the little fountain heads and the bubblers. Or vice versa, if you just wanted to have it work. You just wanted to run some uh, water features, but you didn't need but maybe four hours a day in the winter to filter or maybe five hours. You could still run this little energy efficient pump that's three quarter. So you could run this one for 12 hours with company or people in and out. And it looks like everything's working on the pool, but you only need to filter so many hours. So you don't have to run the big pump. So it's more efficient. This system right here is reading uh, your ORP. That's the chlorine, basically. It's oxidation reproduction potential that it's reading. And the other one's pH. And that's reading the, the water constantly. So our water is coming after the filter, going through this tube, going in, and then coming out. So that's how these little probes can read it. Then when it reads it, the computer says, hey, it's constantly monitoring it the whole time the pump's running to say, do I need to add erratic acid or, or whatever I need, the sensor will read it, turn on the acid pump if it needs acid, suck it from this little drum here, this little can turns, and then it injects acid in until it gets satisfied. When it's satisfied, it's quit feeding or vice versa. If you want to use calcium hypochloride, turn it into a liquid or use liquid bleach. One or the two you could use in there. Same thing, the other little pump comes on and it sits it in there. So the pH is always balanced constantly in the floor system by sending your water through the floor you always want to be in the floor mode unless you're having a party and you don't want little heads to pop up then you would just hit the app on your phone to turn the floor system off goes to the regular returns so you don't have little heads popping up but it's better to heat your pool put your chemicals in from the floor because you're heating and sweeping the floor and you got no moving parts in the pool and you're using one pump you're more energy efficient
and the heater is off right over here and it all works through the app of the phone so you don't have to fool with this is all bypass and everything's worked in here that's on your system here that you can work bypass this is the blower to make more water features in this hot tub but it'll still suck air without it that's your valve for your floor system when it's running so you can see all uh, each zone going and all if you ever have to open a basket or anything it's best to turn the breaker off in case somebody else is uh working or your wife might be inside and you have the pump open and she decides uh, why the pump pool ain't on and she goes to her phone and turns it on and she don't realize you're out here working on it so sometimes it's better if you're going to open something up that way nobody can bypass it and there should be a safety feature here you can put it in service mode in here without turning the breaker on uh depends on what you want it's hard to see it right now yeah so either way all right that should be good for now